So our final race from day one is the Grand Coustiers de Oitoy Erdo. Over three miles on one furlong, it's a grade one event. So cottage wine for Craig Beckwith, Dance the Animals, Josh Sutherland, Liam Van Rensburg, Streaming Mist. John Morgan sends full speed ahead, only a couple of runs. Vinnie Gerard's Humor Exile, Zara Zeus for Pedro Hogan, Joshua Sutherland's Dance Around the Stars. Extreme Consequences for Leon Van Rensburg, Darren Thompson's Gade Bridge, Long Beach for David Hooley, Pedro Hogan's Rebel Run, Sharona for David Robertson, Martin Leedon's Velvet Curtain, and Vermod for Alex Cherry, make up 14 over three miles and a furlong here. <coughs> for the Grand Coustiers, Doi Doi Erdo, they're straight into the first. And they all skip over that. So it looks like Velvet Curtain's going to be our lead up for Martin Leedham. Extends the lead by length, length and a half now. And it takes a hold in front of the crowd. Obviously doing a little bit of showing off there as they go past the winning post and there are a couple of circuits to do and it's this velvet curtain leads by three from the pack we're dancing around the stars is probably 12 wide i want to start shuffling a little bit to the left but it's the hurdle course so the running around doesn't appear for a while so it's velvet curtain leads them over the second when i made a mistake at the back one was the great vermod the other gray in the race i think is Thompson's gate bridge, which is also towards the rear, so we'll tack over towards the route. It's this velvet curtain from Sharona that's moving into second on his own, and Long Beach. Up against the route is Zara Zeus. As they go over the third. We'll clear it well. Slow at the rear again with the two greys of the modern gate bridge. And just in front of those is Dreaming Miss and Rebel Run. But Velvet Curtain still leads us, got a five length advantage now. Extending it all the time from Sharona in second. Then we've got full speed ahead for John Morgan. And Long Beach Dance the Animals is still wide towards the rallies. Extreme consequences, I think, and Zara Zeus and Cottage Wine. And they're followed through by Yuma Exile. And clear the fourth. Good jump there by Dreaming Mist. Gains himself a length or so. Just a three at the rear. Rebel Run and for modern Gate Bridges. They go over the fifth. And another 14 flights still to take. Still a couple of miles to run, but this Velvet Curtain still leads by five to Sharona and Dance of the Animals. Still running six, seven wide, and Long Beach and full speed ahead. We'll stumble a little bit over the six. A Velvet Curtain for Martin Leadham. Leads him into the seventh. There's little cheese wedge fences, and then straight into the eighth. They'll cope with that well. Still leads by five to dance to the animals and Sharona and then dance around the stars and Long Beach and then Dreaming Mist and full speed ahead and Zara Zeus towards the route. Extreme consequences amongst horses there. And then we've got a length back to Cottage Wine, Humor Exile. The Grave and Mod up against the route. Rebel Run in the yellow and black silks of Pedrick Hogan. Bridge just bringing up the rear at the moment as they go over the ninth. And clear that as well. Honestly, having to be pushed along a little bit out wide is full speed ahead. Didn't take the last particularly well as they get to the tenth. The leader clears it well. Mister over it behind. Big old bold jump by Cottage Wine who shuffles back towards the rear. Give that a bit of air and as we showboat past the grandstand again. Velvet Curtain is still our long-time leader circuit to go, although he's taking a little bit of a hold here and allowed his advantage to be cut down to about four now from Dance the Animals and now also takes a hold. Moving up on the inside is Zara Zeus along with Long Beach. Between those horses is Dreaming Mist. They seem like they're going to gang up on this velvet curtain as they get to the next. We'll clear that mistake at the back by Vermod. Wants that tail end Charlie position and takes it up. So velvet curtain with just Two and a half length advantage now to Zara Zeus, and though Zara Zeus takes a hold again. And the yellow caps of extreme consequences and dreaming mist. Sharona up against the row a little wider as Long Beach and Dance of the Animals. This time a mistake at the back by Rebel Run. So Velvet Curtain's advantage down to just a couple, although extreme consequences takes a hold again. Pace is an odd one. Velvet Curtain. We have two length advantage to Sharona who moves into second now from extreme consequences held up on the route. Dreamy Mist and Cottage Wine. So 
Velvet Curtain over the 13th, seven from home. So it's Velvet Curtain leads from Sharona who's come to join him. And the first time we're going to see this Velvet Curtain headed as they go over the 14th. And it's Sharona that now leads from Velvet Curtain. Extreme Consequences and Cottage Wines made a, <coughs> a good move up into the leading group. So Sharona from Velvet Curtain, Cartridge Wine and Extreme Consequence. They go over the 15th. They're all starting to line up now and bunch up behind. The only one that's really out of it at the moment looks like it's Vermod. But it's Sharona just by a nose from Extreme Consequences, Cottage Wine and Velvet Curtain as they go over these little cheese wedges. And it's all changed now as Yuma Exile bursts through. Inside the final half mile, Yuma Exile and Sharona, Cottage Wine, Dreamy Mist, Extreme Consequences, our long-time leader, Velvet Curtain, is starting to go backwards and shuffle through the pack. But it's Yuma Exile that leads us as we take this left turn. Yuma Exile, Co Extreme Consequences, Dreaming Mist and Cottage Wine and Sharona, the Grey Gaiden Bridges making up some good ground. Yuma Exile still holding off Extreme Consequences consequences at the moment and Dreaming Mist as they go over the penultimate. A good jump there by Extreme Consequences and as we'd expect it's a three mile race. It's Extreme Consequences from Yuma Exile and Dreaming Mist. Leon Van Rensburg trying to make a one-two of it as they go over the last and it's Extreme Consequences from Dreaming Mist. Yuma Exile's got nothing left. Cottage Wine and Zaru is trying to close the gap but it's going to be a one-two. The last race of the day is going to go to Extreme consequences, pulling away from the rest. Cottage Wine is just going to try and break the one-two. He does from Dreaming Mist of Leon Van Rensburg. So, Extreme Consequences takes the last race of the day. The Grand Course Tiers, or the Oitoi Erdel. Well done, convincingly. Grade 1 win. Extreme Consequences from Cottage Wine. They just got up for second for Craig Beckwith. Leon Van Rensburg's Dreaming Mist was third. Zara Zeus for Patrick Hogan was fourth. And Gade Bridge for Darren Thompson was fifth. And we'll see you tomorrow with more French races.